Thank you for using the RE series rotary evaporator. This video will cover basic installation of the RE601, the BM500 water bath, and glass set A. Begin the installation by setting up your rotary evaporator on a flat level surface. Insert the bath plate into the slot located underneath the base of the main unit, then set the bath alongside the base. Mount the bracket for the VR601 vacuum controller on top of the main unit. Mount the vacuum controller in place by sliding the rail of the bracket through the slot underneath the vacuum controller. Make sure that the motor and main body are properly positioned by checking the alignment indicators. Mount the diagonal condenser by removing the condenser nut at the top of the motor. Place the condenser nut around the motor flange, then wrap the coil around it. Insert the vacuum seal into the condenser, then carefully mount the condenser into the motor by fastening the condenser nut. Unfasten the rotary joint retainer and carefully insert the 29 by 42 rotary joint inside. Secure the rotary joint by fastening the retainer. Carefully secure the sample receiving flask to the bottom of the condenser using the receiving flask clamp. Use the evaporating flask clamp to carefully attach the evaporating flask to the end of the rotary joint. Insert the sample induction cock and feed tube through the opposite end of the condenser. Remove the stop cap and seal from the condenser and fasten the cooling temperature sensor to the condenser. Take the connection of the sensor and plug it into the cooling temperature sensor terminal at the back of the vacuum regulator. At this point, take the time to check and make sure that all glassware pieces have been securely connected. Connect the rotor lift harness to the back of the rotary evaporator. The larger plug will connect to the main body while the smaller plug will connect to the lift terminal on the vacuum regulator. Take the bath harness and connect one end to the back of the water bath and the other end to the bath terminal of the vacuum regulator. Connect and fasten the larger male plug of the DC harness to the main unit and the smaller male plug to the vacuum regulator. Connect one end of the vacuum hose to the hose nozzle and secure it with a hose clamp. Connect the opposite end of the hose to the input nozzle on the back of the vacuum controller. When using a water circulation unit, connect the left nozzle on the condenser to the inlet valve of the water circulator and the right nozzle to its outlet valve. Connect the main power cords for the water bath and rotary evaporator at the bottom of the units to your power source outlets. You can now turn on the main switches of the RE601 to the on position. The rotary evaporator will automatically rise to its maximum height when first powered on. The height can be adjusted with a mechanical lift by pressing the arrow buttons on the lift handle. A backup battery below the back panel can supply power to the lifting mechanism in case of power source failure. Remove the stainless steel pan from the bath and fill it with about 3 liters of water. 
Place the tray back into the water bath and select the target temperature using the arrow buttons. Hold the start stop button to set this temperature. After loading your sample, begin rotating the sample evaporating flask by adjusting the knob on the main unit clockwise until the desired RPM level is reached. Once the target temperature on the bath has been reached, lower the evaporating flask into the bath using the controls on the lift handle. To monitor the level of vacuum pressure, press the power button to turn on the vacuum regulator and set it to the desired vacuum level. The vacuum regulator is equipped with multiple operation modes such as free operation, fixed temperature operation, and automatic modes 1 and 2. The setup is now complete and your rotary evaporator is ready to begin operation.